Hi, Lisa. How are you? Let me fix this light a little bit because she's bright. How are you, Lisa? How long have you been waiting here for? Let me know. Do I look blurry? Let me fix this. Hold on, guys. I'm on my phone. When I go live, I go live on my phone, so it's a little different. How are you guys? I'm so glad you're here. I, ha I gotta get in the middle here. I'm all like messed up. I have a lot of unboxings to do. There's like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm like, why not just unbox it live? Because I have my Allure, my Macy's, my Good Vibe Scribe, my Hank and Henry, a couple other that I got in the mail. So my Mint Mongoose um, from our lovely rock star Rochelle sent me something from her company. So I'm like, I might as well because everybody already did these unboxings. So we'll do it live and that way I can see what you guys actually think of these boxes. And let me know, should I keep them or should I cancel? Hey, hey, Crystal, how are you? Hello from Ottawa, how are you? Amanda, love your videos, but I love you. Oh, thank you. I have one today. Am I too bright? Let me know, because you know what these lights, these new lights, I gotta fix it, so I don't know how, like, the, with the live stream, if it's too bright, because it looks bright as hell to me. But I have on my eyes, um, from the Glam Light, those pizza palettes that I, from Glitz Glam, so that's what I have. So let me know, um, is it, it's a little too bright. Okay, let me figure something out here. Let me get a little close. Let's see. Is that a little better? Let me know. Because let me try turning this. Let me see if I turn these, these lights right here. Hold on, let's see. All right. Is that a little better or is that still bright? Let me know. Um, a little better? Okay. Yeah, because it was bright. Good, okay. So, let's get right on to it. Do you guys want to talk for a little bit, or do you want me to start unboxing, and then we can chit-chat afterwards? Let me know. Oh, see this bag right here? It's an Ulta bag. This is some of the makeup my husband went to Ulta. I do have a video of him going to Ulta by himself picking out some makeup when he does my makeup. So all that will be in the video with the clip, him actually going into Ulta, swatching things, and what he got. You guys are going to laugh your butt off. It is so funny because <laughs> men don't know anything about color correct. Anything about... I, I'm not going to give it away, but it's going to be funny. Yeah, Addy. Oh, my God. It is going to be hilarious. Trust and believe. All right. So, I'll start unboxing. So, these are all for the September. Hey, Toy. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. I can't sing, but I'm going to sing anyway. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my toy. Happy birthday to you. I hope everybody sang with me. All right. So this is the Allure from September. So let's see what we got. Let's see. You guys know this is $15 a month. Um, I wanted to know if you can help me. Oh, Lord, it's going so fast. Let's see. With what brushes, with what I'm um, um, just learning. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do, well, here's a spoiler alert. I already filmed, um, started filming my makeup collection. I did my face palettes, and then I did my blushes and bronzers together. And I'm going to do, you know, like a series, and then I'm going to talk about like my favorite brushes. That's all, all coming. I'm also going to do a little, like a three-part series about YouTube. If you want to start a YouTube channel, the uh, pros and cons, how to start a YouTube channel, how to get a following, stuff like that. And there is going to be a giveaway in one of those videos as well. So it's all coming. All right. Um, how to do the brow. You know what? I'm not really good at brows. I'm going to be honest. Like I just kind of like shape them a little bit and then just like fill them in. And I just use an eyebrow pencil. All right. So this is the Allure September, and you know, we always get this magazine here. Usually, okay, here's the person, because I was going to say, usually they put like a really pretty person on front. 
All right. So the first thing I got, I'm not even going to like read off of here since we're live and there's six of them. Um, and then I want to chit chat with you guys. So I got the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub, which I've tried these before. Here's the thing. I already know what's in here. This is supposed to be the best of allure this month. And I don't know. I'm kind of iffy. There's one thing in here that I am so happy. Do you have green eyeshadow on? What? Yes. Yes. I am using... Let me go get it. It's right over here so I can show you guys. I'll show you. But I'll show you a little bit later after I do this allure. But I really love those palettes. No, it's not a good month, right? Okay, so then we got this shampoo and conditioner which I am really glad to get shampoo and conditioner. When I first started doing unboxings two years ago, you either got a shampoo in, in all different subscription boxes. You either got the shampoo or you got the conditioner. You never got both, so I'm glad now you're getting both. So this is the blowout lotion color um, protective right there. So I like getting little samples. So, oh, I was going to smell it, but as a safety seal. <laughs> But I give these to my husband because he does a lot of traveling, you know. Your cancel oh Lord, this box was was it really? Now next month was is supposed to be pretty good, but for the best of allure, I'm like, you know. So then I got the Ciate um, Dewy Stick right there. Who won the last giveaway? Wh which one? The uh, one with the ten top ten eyeshadow palettes. If that's what you're talking about, I haven't done that yet. But um, after this live stream, I'll do it. Just got the bait. Oh, good, good, good. So let me just show you this. I don't. This is like very um sheen, sheen right? And if you guys can see. And what this is really good for, are you okay? Yep, I'll talk, I'll show you in a second. I'll tell you about that. Um, this is good for like for me when I don't have any makeup on and then I put it on. But what I do is I take stuff like this and I take my Dampen Beauty Blender and I'll go in with it and then dab it on because it's very like oily. So you can't have foundation or anything on with something like this. It'll take it right off. So I like these, um, you know, but I don't think it's like the best of allure though, right? That is a product I've always wanted to try. This Ciate one, I mean, it is pretty good. Um, it's just, for me, I would wear it uh, when I wasn't wearing any makeup, you know? I'm from sunny, hot Florida. God, I couldn't do it. I could not live in Florida. I complain. You know, Lisa Smith is on here. And where she lives, it gets like, it's like 110 degrees. <laughs> I was complaining. I was like, oh my God, Lisa, it's so damn hot. It's 90 degrees. She's like, it's 110 here. I'm like, you won. <laughs> I couldn't do it. This, I'm really happy to get this. So, this is the La Roche Pousse. <laughs> I'm a child. Every time I say Pousse. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. He index today was 112. I, I would die. I would literally die. Because if you guys see right here this and where are you at? And then right here. I don't know what, what you guys can see on the phone. But that's eczema. That's the only place I have eczema. So, I'm definitely excited to try this. And my 15-year-old gets eczema, too. And if you don't have eczema, guys, this right here is really good for your elbows. Anywhere. You don't just have to have eczema to use this. But I'm just surprised that you have the best of allure. And they put something. Oh my God, look how small this is. I didn't realize how small it was. But this isn't like the best of a lore box, if that makes sense. Oh my God, I get eczema around my eye. Do you know what? My son, he gets it around his eye, not too bad, but I took him to the doctor. This was like last year because I thought he had, well, it was like, looked like little dots first, right? And I thought he had a sty on his eye and then it was like up here. And so I took him to the doctor and they said it was eczema. Here, I thought it was a damn sty. <laughs> Because it came like, started with like dots. Now, I didn't have eczema at the time. And it's so funny. Now, I have it. And it starts with like little dots. And then it looks like this. Um, sorry, I'm late. Better late than never. If I don't 
see your guys' comments since it goes quickly. After every live stream, I always go back and I read all the, the whole chat. So if I miss it now, I will go back and see what you guys are saying. Hey, Ann, it's been a while since I've caught you live. Glad to be here. Well, I am so glad you're here, Blue Ivy. How are you? Hey, Tammy. All right, so the best thing is you could have got the Laura, Laura Mercier um, translucent powder or the NARS. And I got the powder, which I'm excited to get. And this is a decent size. Now, this is like one of the best of allures, right? Because that's a really decent size. Usually you get like a really small one and like the holes are so small, like you can't get it out. I literally have to take the plastic off. So this is a pretty decent size. But I just don't, I think everything in here was okay, but just not for the best of our lore. I mean, what do you guys think? I don't know. What do you think about this month's box? How is your dog? But okay, so let me show you since that's a lore. Let me put this away. And then I'll show you my dog bites. Let me get this out of the way here. So this is what it looks like now. It actually started forming a scab, which I'm surprised because usually it takes me so long to heal. So right here, you see, it's just a little nick like I told you. But the, well, it's kind of forming a scar. You see how it always gets irritated because it takes so long to heal? Because this has been what? Saturday was the bite. So today's Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days and it's finally starting a scab. Um, but because where I got where he kind of like nicked me right here where your the fat is is why it swelled and this little thing hurt <laughs> but he was more or less trying to like warn me like i'm scared leave me alone because it was a pit bull and you guys know if he wanted to hurt me he could have hurt me but that little thing hurt like hell <laughs> it's like a paper cut right a paper cut will hurt like hell <laughs> so but it's actually it's doing pretty good you could, it's like the tooth mark right there I hate how long it takes for the skin to get on the healing. As it does, it takes so long. It's five days. And as you guys can see, it's starting now to scab. That's why diabetics get infected a lot. It's not, it, it's because it takes so long to heal. So you have, it's open. And if you don't take care of it, you get dirt and germs and everything can get in there and then it gets infected. But that's why a lot of times when you hear a lot of people with diabetics, their feet, and they have to get their toes cut off and different things because, like for me, when I went to the doctor, I go to an endocrinologist. And what they did was, this was just last week, and what she did was she took like a pin, like a um, safety pin, and she was, you know, hitting my toes and stuff, and my feet weren't moving. I didn't feel it. Now, when she did it a little harder, of course, I felt it. And she says, well, I can tell because, you know, if you're getting hit by a pin, the first thing you're doing is you're going to move your foot. And I didn't move. And what happens is when you have it for so long, the nerves and stuff kind of die. And so if you're walking barefooted or somewhere and you step on like a thumbtack or anything, you don't have them nerves. You don't know that you stepped on anything. And then you're walking. And then if you're not looking at your feet or if you're a little overweight and can't see, um, it gets infected and that's what happens and then it takes so long to heal you know um yeah i know Rhonda just said it shows we have good taste i don't know i just missed everything okay got bit by a dog sorry i'm shaking the table actually two two times in my lifetime once when i was three on my face oh my god near my lip and got a scar second time when i was 17 on my arm and got a scar too but i still love dogs yeah most of the time when like, for me, I should have known better. It was my fault. Um, and most of the time, they're just scared, you, you know. Now, you do have some dogs that really are trying to hurt you. But this dog, thank God, was more trying to, like, tell me, like, leave me alone. <laughs> and have you ever thought about using paprika if you put it on your cut and actually have... I never heard of that. I didn't know about that. I have to look into that. All right, let's move on and get these over with so that way we can, like, chit-chat and stuff. My grandma lost her leg due to diabetes. It is seriously scary stuff. Take care. Yeah. Well, I have some updates about, too. Be see, I got was diagnosed when I was 18 years old. I was pregnant. It was gestational diabetes. So then it went away after I had my son. And then when I got pregnant at 24, it came back, and then it stayed. And having it so long, I'm going to be honest, I didn't always take care of myself. That's the truth. 
I didn't want to take my insulin because I thought if my sugar went to three or four hundred, I didn't feel any different. I just had to pee a lot. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to take it. And when I took my insulin, it made me shaky and I didn't like the way it felt. So I was hard headed and I just didn't do anything about it. And years of not taking care of myself. So now my and also years of taking insulin, my kidneys are affected, my liver is affected, and now my heart. And that's a whole nother story. But October 1st, I have to get a heart monitor and then do some tests. But, I mean, it's really serious. And I just wish they find a cure. I really do. You know, people don't realize how serious and when you don't take care of yourself, what it can do to your other organs. It's really bad. And with diabetes, once the damage is done, it's done. You can't fix it. And that's the sad part, too. I love your eye look today. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So let's do the Macy's. Um, and like I said, all these are September. Watch me. Oh, okay. I see your thing. Thank you, Carlina. Um, I did the heart monitor twice. No fun. Now, I had, well, I was scared they were going to make me do that catheter thing that goes in your groin up. And thank God, because let me just tell you, that thing hurts. It really hurts. They were like, no, that doesn't hurt. Yeah, it does afterwards. So... Three years ago, I had to get it done, and I had one artery that was only 40% blocked, so they said they don't do anything until it's 90% or more, and so they just want to check it, you know, because, you know, having diabetes for so long. Um, yeah, guys, please hit the thumbs up. It helps me out. Um, all got to do is back, or then you can hit the, yeah, yes, yep. Um, the catheter was the most painful. It was, and let me tell you something when I got it done. It, which, if you guys don't know what it is, it's kind of like a camera that you go into your your groin and that artery, and then it goes up and it like you know takes pictures and different things of your heart, and they they put you under, of course. And I did not know that. So afterwards, it like forms like a balloon, right? And then it kind of like dissipates. I didn't know that, and I'm like, what is this thing? And it's bigger, and and it got so big, I was like, oh my god, what if like. <laughs> my artery blows but that's what it's supposed to do and then I was bruised all the way down halfway to my thigh that thing was painful so thank god I don't have to do that yet depending on like what my tests show and stuff do you think the Macy box is worth it I do oh well yes I do let me show you so this month you get a ten dollars off so really so this box is fifteen dollars a month with ten dollars off it's really five but I don't see a um a bag in here I do. You, you know what? You have your hits and misses. Um, if you want to try like more name brand stuff, it's good to get. You know, I don't have a Macy's near me, but you know, that's why I get it. Because some people say they don't want to pay for samples. But for me, there's no Macy's. It's like 30, 40 minutes away. So, um, all right. So, I'm not going to read anything that's in here. I'm just going to show you guys the stuff since we have a few more to do. All right, so the first thing I got is, what is this thing? It's Macy's Beauty. Let's open it up. Does anyone use turmeric? I do. I use the oil, Braden's PV. How are you? But make sure you don't get it close to your eyes because let me tell you something. It does burn. All right, so this right here, you get a little, it's, this is like a little brush, but this is very soft. I don't know how I feel. I guess maybe to take away powder. And then you have like a sponge. I, I don't like having sponges on this because you can't take it off. I, I don't like that, but it's a brush. Hey, L Negs, how are you? Let me just see how much does it say it is. Two in one blender and a brush. Doesn't have a price. All right. The next thing we got is this blush. Oh, this is in Feisty. So I have this already. So I'm going to put it in a future giveaway. Let me just show you what, what it looks like. That's pretty. I'm going to put this in a future giveaway for you guys since I already have it. Got to go pick up the kid from work. Okay, good, 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 good. Have a fun. My son is sleeping. Um, he goes to the doctor's tomorrow. I'm not sure if he sprained his ankle or what. <laughs> Did something. He's been telling me for a couple days now that his ankle hurts. And I'm like, well, you're going to school. And he came home today and his right ankle is like swollen. So he has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I feel horrible. 
Um, so we have the Clinique Take Your Day Off. I love this stuff. I just got this on the 21 Days of Beauty uh, when it was half off in Ulta. I'm excited to get this. So I do know a full size is $30. Fighting a migraine. Oh, I hate them. Um, yeah, can you believe that? I'm like, you're going to school. Because, you know, sometimes kids fake it, you know, especially my son. you got to know my son. And here he came home, and he's a walker. You know, they have to walk to school and walk back, and I felt horrible. His, his right ankle is definitely swollen. Um, and, but let me just tell you. So I'm like, well, you're, he had an appointment at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And he's like, no, I want to go to school. And I, so and then I had to change it to 3 o'clock. Now, one kid, that's not my kid, because when I was growing up, I was skipping school. If, my, if I didn't have to go to school, I would not go to school. But him, he doesn't like to be late for anything. He likes to go to school, you know. Oh, thank you guys so much. Okay. Felicia says, my mother had diabetes also. She passed away in 2000. Oh, I'm so sorry. At the age of 64. She had both her legs and arm removed. She also had to have dialysis three times a week. Per, oh, yeah. I will not get... I mean... I, my kidneys aren't doing good. They call it renal failure, but I, I will not do that. I can't do dialysis right now because, you know, my mom is on hospice, so I just can't do that. But um, it, it, it's a shame. All right, so you have this. What is this? This is from Pure... How do you say that? Pure Cone MD? What the heck is it? Face Finishing and... Oh, Ferment Moisturizer. or Face Moisturizer. And this is a pretty, it's filled up to the top. It's a pretty decent size. All right. The next thing we got is from Stravectin. This is an anti-wrinkle, um, what is this? Is this a serum? Let's see. This is expensive. I do know that. I um, lost my mom in March because, oh my God, I am, so, th th that's, it's horrible. It's really horrible. Okay, yeah, so. It's like a little moisturizer. And then we have, uh, this is Lip and Cheek, cheek Pencil. I'm going to put this in a giveaway too. It's sad watching my 45-year-old 40, brother die from diabetes and heart failure. Yep. See, let me, this is what a lot of people don't understand. You know, what insulin is for, right? Insulin, it, you know, like your pancreas. If you are type one, your your pancreas doesn't doesn't um, do any kind of insulin. Doesn't make any kind of insulin at all. You're type two. It means it doesn't make a lot of insulin. So you would either need the pill, or if it just does a little bit, then you would need the insulin. And you know, you have like these cells in your body, right? And your pancreas, let's say insulin is like a door, right? And so you have these cells, and when you, you the insulin is kind of like, for your pancreas, let's say the door opens and the cells go, you know, leave. I'm just trying to make it, like, so you can understand. I'm not getting really, like, medical. Well, when you don't produce insulin, those cells go through your body and they pounce around. And then what happens is they start going up to your heart and they clog. They get together and they clog right and so that's what happens when you get a blockage and that's why diabetics can get a stroke heart attack um their organs start failing it's because of that lack of insulin and somebody like me that was very ignorant and didn't take care of herself uh because i didn't take my insulin i you know i didn't like that shakiness and that's what's happening with me now my mom had bad diabetes and a heart attack, and that's what damaged her kidneys, right? And also, you get you can get a lot of bladder infections. You can, it, it, it's just sad. It really is sad. But thank God, they do have a lot of different medications now. But sometimes people find out too late, and there's, their organs are already damaged, you know? And that's the problem with diabetes. Once your organs are damaged, it's, it's not fixable. All right. And then we have these little samples that we we get. So we have uh, from our Zara Want It Girl, and then we have the men's. So I think my phone stopped. Yeah, oh my God, it stopped. Uh, my mom died 2015 breast cancer. Oh no, now I found out I have lump cell. Well, you make sure you get that checked because that is definitely heredit can be hereditary. 
All right, so that's what we got in our Macy's box. I think the Macy's box was really good this month for $15, and then you get the $10 off coupon. Because this this right here, I love Tarte blushes. So we have that. Um, but yeah, make sure you get that checked and keep us updated. My body used to overproduce, so it... So my sugar would never go over 95. Oh, even after eating pasta and drinking Monster and Mountain Dew through my family's. Oh, see, mine, mine is the opposite. Mine like, here's what my endo told me now. I'm supposed to take insulin four times a day. I'm just going to, you know, tell you what's going on with me. Um, because what's happening is when you, when I'm eating, uh, my sugar's spiking, right? And so I need that insulin to bring it down. So they want me to take it four times a day. And I'm like, but they're starting me off slowly. Because I was only taking it one time a day at night and then taking a pill. Well, they're like, the pill's not going to do nothing for you. So, you know, that sucks. Okay, Darla says, Mr. Justin, I'm still waiting for you to make o over um, Ann's unboxings. <laughs> He's got a video coming up. Um, okay. Will they put you, God, it's going so fast. Oh my God, let's see. Are you still working on a subscription box? I'm working on a mystery box. I am, if, but I'm, what's, what I wanna put out first is makeup brushes. So I already know what I'm going to call it and everything like that, um, but that's what I wanna put out first. Better than the actual shots. Okay, oh, Rock Shelf, um, well, Rochelle, I got your thing. I'm going to unbox it in a second. Yeah, no more sad talk. Let's talk about, I don't know, something positive. So we have, like, unboxings. We have the Good Vibe Scribe. So I'm sure you guys have seen um, this going around. I'm on my phone, so I can't look up how much this is. I know this is bi-monthly. Um, I'll buy all. Oh, yeah, I'm working and I wanted to I want my brushes to be really nice because I have slightly hooded eyes, right? And it's more from aging. And um, so you need certain brushes and different things. And so I want to do something really nice for like hooded eyes or detail work. All right. I know this is bi-monthly. This box is for October. So if you purchase this box, sorry I keep shaking the table. Um, this will be the October's box. I did this two months ago, and that was more like a promo box, what you stuff that you could get, but this will actually be in the October box. So this right here just tells you what everything's in it. One thing I like about it, it's by, um, you know, people are actually make this. So let me just put this here so I don't keep shaking the table. You have the worst hooded eyes. It's so hard to, like when I first started working with makeup, I, 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 it was horrible. Oh my God, it was horrible. Like go back to my first few videos, you will see. Is this the October giveaway? No, this is the October unboxing right here. Okay. Um, I want to start a channel doing unboxings, but I'm afraid it would be a waste of time. No one will watch. Don't, no, don't think that. Listen. If you want to start a channel, which I'm going to make some videos later on, uh, you know, about that, but do it because you want to, you know, don't worry about the views and your subscribers, because if that's what you worry about, of people like how many people will watch you, you will be very upset, you know, do it because you want to just and get out there, you know, and they will come, people will come. Um, okay, what box is this? This is the Good Vibe Scribe. All right, so the first thing that we get, and I'm on my phone, so I can't look to see how much it is. I think it's like 30-something dollars bi-monthly. Oh, and this box, every, every, um, all the money, all the proceeds that for this box is going away to a charity to the, um, Hurricane Dorian. So I think that is definitely exciting for the month of October. I have been thinking about making a channel. You guys should. Let me tell you something. When I made my channel, I was so depressed. Very, very depressed. And I used to, I didn't know, I didn't really watch YouTube. And my daughter was at the orthodontist one day. And somebody, it, it, the hygienist was like, oh yeah, I got Ipsy. I didn't know what Ipsy was. Oh, it's $35 a month. Thank you, Southern Mom. 
And I didn't know what Ipsy was. And I'm like, what's Ipsy? So I played it off. I act like I knew what she was talking about because I didn't want to look stupid. So I go home and I look on YouTube and I see what Ipsy was. The very first person I ever watched on YouTube was Abby, Abadabs. She did her Ipsy unboxings. And she was doing her 100 subscriber giveaway. She only had 100 subscribers. And it was Lisa Stroop who won it. I remember I found Lisa Stroop and, and Abby and Lisa Stroop and Sharon Wise and a whole bunch of people were like, you should start a channel. You should start a channel. And so I did. So I owe them a lot for helping me um, start my channel. But um, it really has helped me with my depression and different things. So I think anyone who wants to do it should just go ahead and do it, you know? You don't have to show your face. You can kind of like, you know how they do it where you, you just see the unboxings. But you should definitely try it. Um, I wouldn't go buying a whole bunch of fancy stuff because you may not like it, you know? Just if you have a phone, turn your phone on. If you have an iPad, turn your iPad on. You don't need, you do, if you don't need lighting, do it in natural light, you know? All right, where is my cutter? Let me get my scissors here to open this up. Right, I agree, yeah. Yeah, I think you got, seriously, listen, when I first started, I'm gonna, I've, tell, I've told you this guys over and over again, if you guys that have been to my, um, you know, that aren't new to my channel, you guys know this story. But I didn't know anything about starting a channel. I didn't even know how to upload it. This is the God's honest truth. My son was 12 at the time. He's 15 now. And I had just turned, I was 40. I started my channel the end of February. That April I was turning 41. So I was almost 41 when I started. And so what I would do when he was at school, I recorded my videos. And then I would wait till he got home from school and he would upload them. I didn't even know how to upload my videos. And that's the truth. I didn't know you had to tag. I didn't know any of the stuff. Like, I really learned from scratch. And let me tell you something. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Because I, I didn't even know how to upload. I am not tech savvy at all. I didn't own a computer till after I was married. I never owned a computer in my life. I never even been on YouTube. Me and my husband used to, used to say, if you had to do cable or internet for the rest of your life, what would you pick? And I would say cable. And he would say, yeah, but you can watch TV on the internet. But I, I didn't have Instagram, Facebook, I, I, nothing. And now I get it. Now I'd rather have internet. But I'm telling you guys to just do it, you know? Because if you wait for that right time, you're never going to do it. Um, I struggle with editing. Guys, I just started editing a few months ago. I went two and a half years without editing anything. Not even like cutting out parts. And when I started, when I first started, let me tell you what I would do. I would do my videos and if somebody knocked on my door and my dog start barking, guess what I had to do, guys? I had to start all over. I put everything back in the box and start, I mean, seriously. I didn't, know, I didn't know how to do anything. So that's why I want to do my little series to show you, to teach you guys that are new that want to start a YouTube channel. Um, oh, thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so we have this scarf right here. This is gorgeous. Now, you guys know I live in Jersey, and it gets damn cold in New Jersey. So, that's pretty. I don't want to put that on and try it because I'm going to start sweating. Let's see what it says. This is the Classic Plaid Blanket Scarf. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Um, it is Bohemian style bralettes and accessories. Found it by a family of four. Okay. So, you know, it's for fall. It's a scarf. And it's nice. Like, this thing is big. I can't help it. It's big. Oh my God, that stuff's getting everywhere. All right, so we have a scarf. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, we got a, um, I was going to say a pumpkin. We have a candle. I love, love candles. Oh, uh, thank you, Shannon, for the $5. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God, this smells so good. I wish it was smell a vision. I wish you guys can smell it. Oh my God, I want a pumpkin pie. This is good. This is why I can't lose weight, guys, because I like to eat too much. I love eating. I think the first video I watched was an Allure box you unboxed, and it was a, a tanning thing, and you put it on your face and never let... 
Oh my God, I, rem I think I remember that. Hey Purple, how are you? All right, so we have this candle. I love it, let's see. And these are like just people, real people that make it, like artisans. Am I, am I saying that right? You Oh my God, you know what? When, when me and my husband just did our last video and it was from the Smacks in Greece, from Greece, now, you guys know I can't pronounce English words. You guys know that, right? I have a hard time pronouncing. I admit. And I cannot, you think I can pronounce like other things that aren't English? No, no, ma'am. <laughs> I was laughing. Oh, it was so funny. Okay, so let's talk about this candle. So, this is an eight ounce candle, and it is from, these products are equal eco-friendly and let's see made with love in Georgia so it's from the brand things uncommon right there yes so cold that you can go outside and throw boiling water in the air and it comes down as snow yes we me and my kids did that one time I wanted to show it was like a science product project I think they were like in fifth or sixth grade I mean this was years ago and if you can't let's say and if you can't say it, you make the word work. You're what? <laughs> I play it off real good, don't I? Uh, sometimes because um, I don't see too well, sometimes words get blurry. And I'm going to tell you something. This is the truth because Lisa calls me out on it all the time. Um, let's say I'm reading something here and something's blurry to me. I will skip over the word and just keep reading because <laughs> I can't read it. It's blurry to me. All right, let's keep going. The next thing we got is uh, this is a great a pink grapefruit lip balm from Generation B. Uh, let's see. Throw boiling water in the air. That sounds dangerous. No, not when it's real cold. Because when you throw it in the air, it like disappears. It like turns into like frost or something. I can't explain it. All right. So we have some chapstick. So then we have this pumpkin soothing mask right there. Which I love masks. So much. I started watching YouTube and I'm 39 years old. My kids kept telling me you could watch anything and I found you. Oh, thank you. I still can't believe, like, listen, when I got to my first 100 subscribers, I, 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 I was still in shock. I'm still in shock that people want to watch me. And that's the truth, like, really. Because I'm just a regular person that got behind a camera and just unboxing. But I was so depressed. And I didn't have any friends by choice. I, I have a hard time trusting people. And I don't know. I just started. And then I, like, made friends with you guys. Like, I really consider you guys my friends and family. And that's the truth. And when you guys comment back and we have conversations, that is the most fun thing for me. Not like doing all this, it's actually having that connection with you guys. And, and really, that's the truth. I know it sounds like cliche, but it really is the truth. Uh, let's see. I need to get some sleep. You'll have, okay, good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. My phone gets stuck. And so then when I realize it, I see all these comments. All right. So let me read up a little bit about this. I just want to make it quick because we have a few more to do. Then I'm going to unbox what Rochelle on here sent me. So it doesn't give like prices or anything. So this is just says, see I can't read, it's blurry. Faith and Scott Freeman, founders of Primal Elements, initially owned a bath body and aromatherapy shop in Belmont Shore, California. In 1993, due to the difficulty of obtaining unique soaps for their store, they started designing creative handmade scraps in class of their own. The dedicated efforts of Faith and Scott Freeman were awarded. These award recognizes the success efforts, and it goes on and on. So I love the fact that they put this kind of stuff in the boxes. I'm excited. I'm going to try this tonight, definitely. See, my phone froze again with the comments. Um, yes, we love, aw, thank you. And can I email you a few questions about, yep, yeah, you definitely can. I always keep my email in the description um, thing. 
Let's see, like, especially from what I'm going through now, I feel like trust is lost. Uh, let me just tell you something. It definitely is. And um, I, that's a whole other story I'll talk about. I, I mean, friends are hard to come by. Trust and believe. You know, people... I don't understand this competition thing. And I'll never understand competition, especially through friends. I just don't understand it. Do you guys ever deal with that? Like... You think people are your friends, but in real life, they're really your enemies. Like, they really hate you or something. I don't know. Do you guys ever deal with that, like, two-facedness or something? Th that's why, for me, it's hard for me to find friends. It really is. Um, Let's see. That's what my best friend is, my cousin. Blood. That's right. That's right. Lisa Smith, let me just tell you. Now, I, I, I talked to Lisa on the phone. I hope she doesn't mind me saying it. But Lisa has been through with me through a lot. This past year, I don't always speak. You guys that been with me for so long, you guys, you guys know, right? But for starting last year, January of last year, January 10th, my 21-year-old nep nephew died in a car accident. It was horrible. It was so horrible. It was my husband's nephew, my sister-in-law's kid, and it was her only kid. That's it. Her only kid. And let me tell you something that was devastating for me. Then, uh, later on that year, last year, you know, my mom and grandma, you know, they lived together. And the house caught on fire. That was my child, my childhood home, right? Um, you know, I was a teen mom, so a lot of my kids' stuff were there. Um, I was in an abusive relationship, not, not with my husband prior. to. So when I moved back home, I still had things there. My father passed away when I was six from a motorcycle accident. So all of his pictures all got destroyed because what didn't burn got water damaged, right? So I dealt with that. Then, a, a month or two later, something happened with my daughter that was devastating, okay? That I, I won't say, but it was very devastating. And then after that, let's go to January. My grandmother got sick, and then she passed away in February, who was like my second mom. I've been going, I, I have been dealing with it. So some of my friends, like I, I, I wasn't a very good friend. I was very negative and mean. I was going through it. And some people that I thought were my friends were like actually kicking my back and saying, oh my God, she's always so negative. But I was dealing with some stuff. But I would come on here, make videos, you know, because you guys don't want to always hear negativity. You guys got your own problems. And it's sad. It's sad to, 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 to know this. I mean, I didn't want to believe it, but I've seen screenshots and voice recordings, and I couldn't believe my ears to know that the, the, especially this one person kicked my back in. I, I was devastated. It, it's devastating, you know? And so for me, it's hard to stay. And my point is, Lisa Smith, she stuck with me through everything. She, you know, she was the one who told me, and pull yourself together. And I actually, that's when I start going to the doctors and finding out different things and my hormones and this and that. Like, that's what you need. You need somebody to say, listen, enough's enough. Get your shit together, right? Not somebody to kick your back in, you know? And that's hard. It's, it's, it's hard, you know? So she's been a trooper with me. And now, like... I, I, I'm, I'm doing good. I mean, what medication will do will do wonders. Seriously, it really will. Um, let's say they love getting you when you're hurting most. That's so true. And what I don't understand is this competition. I don't understand it. Just like with YouTube, other you, why, 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 why can't somebody be happy if your channel's growing and they're they're not? Like I've had that. I started from scratch. I, I'll just. I'll never understand it, you know? If, if When my channel wasn't doing good, a few months ago, like, I was losing subscribers, losing, losing, losing. And I was, like, in what they call YouTube red, where I didn't gain subscribers. It didn't look green. It was always red, losing, losing. I would gain maybe 20 subscribers, and that, but I would lose 11, right? You know what I did? I looked at my channel and said, okay, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to do to fix my channel? Am I tagging wrong? Am I doing this? What do I need to do? I didn't look at other people succeeding and like, oh my God, I can't. I, no, I fix what I'm doing, you know? I, and I'm like, well, maybe it was my negativity. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just YouTube, you know? But we got to stop the hate. We have to, especially women. 
I'm a woman. I want to see. The Bible says, love your enemies, right? I wish even my en I don't really have enemies. I don't. I don't hate anybody. I might dislike them or get mad at. But I wish everybody success. I truly do because I believe in karma. So if I have ill will on somebody, that's going to come back around, right? We, we pray. Pray for your enemies. When somebody's kicking your back in, you pray for them. If you're in a relationship in a marriage or not a marriage and they're not doing right, you pray for them. And I, I know it sounds good, but it's the truth. Don't get back. Don't get even because there's karma. Karma will come back. So you do what you're supposed to do. You keep moving and you, you just pray. That's all you can do, you know? But I, I don't understand this, you know. I don't understand even the hate, like racist people. I, I mean, I, I can go on and on, guys. I know I'm supposed to be doing an unboxing, but a lot of people ask me, like, why don't I have my daughter on? And let me just tell you, if you if go back to my other videos, I have uh, uh, videos with my daughter. I start doing videos with my daughter when she was 16. She was underage. She's 19 now, but she was 16. I was called an end lover. My daughter was called a monkey. All this stuff. And I'm like, this is a 16-year-old girl. So I had to stop doing videos with my daughter because I didn't want her to see those comments. I didn't, you know, I, I was scared to do videos with my husband because, listen, regardless if you don't, people don't like interracial dating or don't like black people or don't like a, a watching a gay person or whatever, we're all humans. We are supposed to love humans. We are the human race. And what I do is not your business and what you do is not my business. If you don't like seeing my daughter or me being in an interracial marriage then don't watch don't watch but why leave these comments especially to a, a minor like I, I i i'll never understand the the hate that people have it's sad it really is sad but i have to say you guys have been so good to me nothing but positivity with my daughter i mean with my son i'm with my husband and I truly appreciate you guys I truly appreciate you guys I cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate all your support I, and I and I mean that um, next I think that you put something on here but it went so quick okay next says I started my channel because I never seen anybody like me on YouTube I'm so I'm representing for the masculine gay men in entertainment beauty. That is so true. And we need more people like you. We, we definitely need more people like you. And that's the truth. Because, listen, if they don't like watching you, then don't watch, you know? Um, okay, let's see. That's terrible. I can't stand where it is. And I've had somebody say, oh, I need more. I'll never forget this one comment. Somebody said, you know what, let me just finish this. One more thing in here. Let me just finish this. We have earrings right here, which are really, really pretty. I am so sorry I went on this tangent. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. I wasn't going to do that. I've even had, like, friends, and when they found out my husband was black, they, they stopped supporting me. They, another YouTuber. I, won't, I will never say her name, but I, I was very devastated on that. These are gorgeous. I love these so much. These are diamond hoop stud earrings. Guys, you guys see, I'm into the 90s style. Remember the bamboo earrings back in the day? <laughs> of my rants. I was thinking about doing like a get ready with me and just like doing like rants and stuff, like getting things off my chest, but I don't want to seem too negative, you know? Let me, um. Okay, so these are Mata Traders Diamond Silver Studs. These are gorgeous. I really like this subscription box. I definitely recommend it. It's a bi-monthly. Um, it's $35 a month, but it's all like artisans like that's in the box. And what subscription subscription box do you know that is a new company? This is will be their very first box that are donating all proceeds to Hurricane Dorian. I mean, all proceeds. I, I, I just love that so much. I really do. I have been on here for 49 minutes, and all I did was complain. <laughs> if you are new to my live, I don't usually do this. I don't complain. I dated a Dominican guy for six years, and I got a lot of hate for it. I just don't understand why people get so... I know. It's like... You, you, you know... It, I, I just don't get it. I, I, I don't get it either. If it's, it's like, listen, you don't have to sleep with them. And, and listen, everybody has a right to their opinion. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a right to your opinion. I'm not saying that at all. But like, 
I just feel why put hate like somebody would not I hope not would not come up to me in person and say I don't like the way your makeup looks today um, I, I got told before in one of my videos I look like I ate that I eat 800 Big Macs now what person would come up to you in a store and say you know you look like you eat 800 Big Macs I mean, nobody. So why why do they feel they have to, like, I don't know. It's But now let me just say, if you want to start a channel, it's not all hate. I have so much positivity, and I have, like, 1% of that. So don't get, you know, like, scared. Um, but there are people that are just, they have, misery loves company. You know what I mean? And they just like to, you, you can't pay them any mind. You just can't, you know? Yes, they're hiding behind a keyboard. Because they never say it to your face. They wouldn't. But I don't let it get to me. Like, there's nothing nobody can say to me. I'll tell you why. When I started doing the slut box, and there was one video that got over 250,000 views. And let me just tell you. I, at that time, I was only getting like 1.6 thousand views, 1,000 views. Like, I rarely got 2,000 views, right? And so, you know, when you don't, uh, you, you, a lot of times then, you don't get, uh, you don't get a lot of hate comments. But... I, there were condoms that were, was in that box, and I just said, because, you know, I don't really get a lot of views, and I talk to you guys like we're family, we're friends, right? I feel like I'm unboxing it with you guys, and I said, oh, I don't need condoms, I'm married. I'll give it to my, my son was like, it's 23. I was like, I'll just give it to my son. Well, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm just saying that I don't use them. If you go to that video, I'm not kidding, guys. If there are 5,000 comments, 4,399 are like, oh, what, just because you're married, you don't need condoms? Blah, blah, Like, they, like, really ripped me a new ass. And I'm thinking, my God. And, like, and, and, and the stuff that people said, listen, nobody can, I, I, I got used to it real quick. And it's like, nothing bothers me now. Unless you talk about my kids. Like, my husband, he's a grown man. He can handle himself, but if you talk about my kids, and then, then I, I just like, I'm like a mama line. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and it's a habit, but didn't work tonight to put my daughter to sleep. Hello, she's playing with, aww. It's funny, because I'm Sicilian, duh. People, you, it's Italian and black. I tell them, do your homework, yes. Never talk about the kids, yeah. I, when I did those few, I used to do like spa day Sundays with my daughter because she was 16. I knew she was getting ready to go to college and I just wanted to have something on camera, you know, just memory wise. And I was very new to YouTube. Like I think I was doing YouTube for like three weeks when me and my daughter did like a sour candy challenge. And I could not believe the stuff that people were saying. And I'm like, she's only 16. Why? What adult would talk about a minor to begin with? Seriously. And if you look at my daughter, maybe I'm just being biased, but she's beautiful. I think my daughter is beautiful. And it's like, how dare you say anything? <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah. So that was my little rant. I, I just don't understand, like, this competition thing with YouTube. Uh, I'll never understand it. I just feel like there's so many people that watch YouTube, me included, there's enough to go around. What is, like, I don't understand, like, friendship competition. There's competition on YouTube. Listen, like, when you do unboxings, you have to be one of the first, I'll just use BoxyCharm as an example, right? When you get your BoxyCharm box, Nikki's here, she can vouch. You want to be one of the first people that get your BoxyCharm out. Why? Because just like me, I don't want to watch a whole bunch of BoxyCharm unboxings. You know, it's like, once you watch a few, you, you know what's in there, okay. So that's business. That's business mind, right? You, you get it out first. Um, you know, like if, if my BoxyCharm came late or my lure came late, my lure came late, what am I doing? I'm doing it on a video, I on a live because, or I just won't do it. And so I put it out now, nobody's going to want to watch it, right? But with friends... I don't understand the competition thing. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I am happy for everybody to get views and to be, I, I, I'll never understand friendship competition. I'll never understand, like, this hasn't happened to me, but let's say there's a company, let's say BoxyCharm, and I'm selling boxes, and let's say uh, you, you can talk to BoxyCharm, and somebody's saying, well, how many boxes did Ann sell? Why are you asking a company how many I sold? Worry about your own. Like, I just don't understand it, you know? And that's what's hard for me to trust people. But my point was, Lisa has been a very good friend to me. So I thank you so much, Lisa. Um, Lisa Smith, as long as he is happy, that's all that matters, right? That's the way I feel about love is love. 
I don't care if I've seen a lot of unboxing. Oh, well, oh, thank you. But you guys know what I mean. After a while, it gets like, you know, like how many can you watch, right? I do want to open up this because this is from Rochelle, and I'm sure she has been waiting for a minute because it's been almost an hour. And then I just have, my, I don't know if you guys want to see my Hank and Henry. Everybody already seen Hank and Henry. And then the mint mongoose. I don't have to do the mint mongoose, you know. But I, I do want to unbox this real quick. This is a mystery box, and she does 31s. What is it called, Rochelle, for you on here? The 31, like the bags and stuff. Um, she has a channel. After this video is done, I'll um, leave below her channel. But she does a lot of 31, like bags and all that kind of stuff. So she asked me if she can send me like a mystery bag. So I haven't opened it. I don't know what's in here. I don't even know the price. I hope she's still in here. She can answer any of your questions. But I did talk your ear off. So let's just see what is in here. I do know that she said that she forgot to send me the brochure. So, so my phone got stuck again. Um, thank you, my lovey. You have been so kind to me all. Oh, thank you so much. Right back at you, girlfriend. All right. So this is what we got. It says, hello, happy September kindness right there. So I guess this is the September mystery bag. Uh, my son doesn't even understand. Oh, you, you're talking about your son. Okay. Then we have, oh, there's a card. Let's open up the card. I don't know if that's anything important or if it's a, a personal card. Um, Dominicans are hot girls. <laughs> oh, something fell. Okay. Oh, here's a little th thing from California. Let's see. Okay, so that's a little personal thing. Got to go and buy. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by, Kim. All right, so let's see what is in here. So here is the bag. Good night. My daughter's having surgery. Oh, my God. I'll pray for her, Amanda. California's your home state. Okay, so here is the bag right there. I never get to see you... I never get to see your daughter yet because you I've only been here a couple months. Um, oh, Rochelle, just because, oh, thank you so much. Um, if you go back to my older videos, you'll see like mother and daughter sour candy challenge and stuff like that. But I do have a few videos with her on it. But it's like two years ago. So go back there. You'll see a few. So here's two things here. I know. Don't guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Ooh, the, ooh, that is nice. It's a little what, like change purse, right? Or wallet. So you can put your ID in there. You put your money in there. This is really nice, actually. You have this little thing here um, where you can put your keys on. You know, you can hook your, your keys on there. Let me just sh take this paper off real quick so I can show you. I'm like sweating, guys. So... You got the little clip here, you guys see? You can put your keys or, or whatever. That is really nice. So this is a mystery bag, right, Rochelle? So you have that. And then, kindness is always beautiful. This is a 31. So let's see. Oh, so this is like the, uh, I think this is the, um, What's well, a little bag? You know, like you could put it like when you go grocery shopping or anything. It's like vinyl. So if something spills in it, that's really nice. What's this? And then you have this right here. Well, this is really nice. How much is this, Rochelle? I know you're still on here, so tell me, tell everybody know how it is since you didn't send me the price or anything. That's really cute. This is really really um good handmade i'm not handmade very well made i like that a lot so that is is there anything else i think that's it oh no there's something else in here so you packaged it up very nice oh uh, so you have a like a keychain thingy and this says kindness is always beautiful that is so true isn't that funny and look what we were just talking about today in the live stream that is so nice. Everything matches. 
Let's see all the colors match. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to use all of this stuff. I really, really appreciate this. So thank you again. Um, it's, I liked it all right. Aw, thank you. So have you ever thought of doing videos showing people how to do eyeshadow nice if they have hooded eyes? Well, Tracy, I did do one video with my boxy charm, but I, I do plan on I'm doing more towards the end of the month. I'm going to start doing it. Okay, it's $31 every month. Okay, good. Thank you so much. I really liked everything. I really did. All right, what do you guys want me to do? I know it's been like almost an hour. Do you want me to keep going or do you guys want me to just stop? Let me know because we could just chit chat. We, I don't have to unbox it. Let me know. I love 31 bags. Yep. They are, they're very good, well made. Yes, good idea. I need you to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it. I canceled some boxes. And that's why I'm doing these like in a live stream. So I have, because I got the Natasha Donona, the new palette, Metropolis palette. That is here. My husband's, go, I'm going to swatch it on my husband and my daughter. So there's three different skin tones you guys can see. And I have other things that I'm going to do as well. I'm um, just subscribed to Rochelle 31, but don't have a wrap. Okay, good. I love Rochelle. She's so sweet. All right, you guys want me to keep going? Okay. Let's do the Hank and Henry because there's something in here I'm going to do a giveaway with. Okay. So this is the last box. Uh, it, it was $37, so he's not going to do subscription boxes anymore. But what he is going to do every once in a while is get a box together and where you can kind of like just purchase it. Kind of like how the Target is, right? You know, like the Target boxes every month. It's not a subscription, but if you want it, you can go get it. If you don't, you don't have to buy it. That's kind of like something he's going to do. I don't know if it's going to be monthly, bi-monthly, once in a while. But let me just tell you something about Hank and Henry. I love his formula. I really do. And if you don't know, his real name is Henry and Hank is his like alto ego. So, cause a lot of people say, is it two people? No, he's just one person, Hank and Henry. So, uh, my great grandmother always says pretty is as pretty does. Amen. Makes you think, I don't care how beautiful you are on the outside. It is what inside that makes you truly beautiful. That is so true. So true. All right. So that's what it looks like. And I know there's a card in here somewhere. Let's see what a card is. Oh, I don't have a card in here. All right, so let's just let's just see what's in here. Okay, so we get a brush, which I have been wanting to try his brushes. So you have the Hank and Henry. This is called the Tasha brush. So it looks like that. I, this, I would use this for like contouring because it's it's soft but a little dense. But this is a really nice brush. It's so pretty. It happens to everyone. And I am blessed to have the same loyal friend since I was 12. Do you know when my grandmother was alive, my grandmother used to say, Ann, you're going to count on one hand, even if you can do that, how many true friends you will have in a lifetime. And I was young then, 12, 13, and she is so right. Like, the people that you think are your true friends, they really don't like you. And sometimes, I, I wanted to say this one last thing, and I'll stop talking about it. Sometimes, when you tell somebody something, and they say, don't say anything, they may not come back and tell you, but they might tell somebody else, and that other person might come back and tell you. So you always have to be careful who you tell. I always say to my kids, never tell anybody anything you don't care if it gets public. Right? Because if you don't want something said or you don't want somebody telling somebody something you said, then you shh, you keep quiet. Because you can't always trust people. You and, and my saying is you believe nothing you hear and only half of what you see. Because sometimes when we see things, it's not always how it, it looks, right? But you don't believe hearsay. And so you have to be careful because nowadays I don't understand, maybe because I'm a little older, people like to do, write things and screenshot it and send to people. And you have to be careful nowadays. You don't want people to know anything. You never write anything down because you never know what will come back to somebody unless you can own up to it. Because there's a lot of people out here that will not own up to it. In other words, Lisa's here. I'll use her as an example. If I got mad at her and I said, oh my God, she's a fucking bitch. Excuse my language, but that's how I talk when I'm pissed. 
If she said, Ann, did you say that? I'm going to say, yes, I did say that. And I'm very sorry, but I was mad at you. But there are people that you say, did you say I'm that? And they'll say, no, I didn't say that. So never say anything to anybody that you don't, that you're scared to get out back. Because people screenshot things now. People record that. You think they're your friends and they will record stuff. And this came back to me. And I am shocked. Even companies. You have, you can't trust on YouTube, you can't trust brands because there are things that you can email a company and they get mad at you and they'll come back and they tell me and they'll say, please don't say anything. There has been one company that I don't unbox anymore. Why? Because they were sending me PR and they didn't want me to tell anybody because these people that were getting PR actually were the ones that uh, brought the box to a lot of people's attention, but they had to buy it. And so one person went back to this company and said, did you do blah, 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 blah. And they came back and told me, said, please don't say anything. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I, and I, did not, I don't unbox your box anymore because I don't play those games. You know what I mean? It's like you just can't trust people nowadays. And it's sad. So that is, if I can give you one advice, don't ever say anything you don't want repeated. Don't ever write anything that you don't want it to get back to somebody. Because like I said... I could tell you something, and you may go back and tell that person, but that person might tell somebody else, and that somebody else might go back and tell me, or, or whatever. Do you guys know what I mean? Or you might say something, and then it gets three or four people, and they construe a whole different thing of what you said, you know? And it, it, it's sad. So I keep to myself, and that's why I love YouTube. YouTube is a stress reliever, and... You guys are my loyal family. Like, I, you guys will tell me like it is. And that's why I keep going. It's because of you guys, seriously. All right, so we have this brush. So it's I would use it for a contour. Hey, from Louisiana. So then we have this Hank and Henry. Well, everything. I'm going to keep saying Hank and Henry, but everything's Hank and Henry. This is, um, they collab with Candy. So this is candy apple. I love candy apples. YouTube is my, it is, right? All right, so this is, do you guys know I never used to wear red? I used to always say I would never wear red, but I'm really into like red shades now. This is gorgeous. And you can always tone it down. Like I never wear just one, um, I love the applicator. I never wear just one lipstick shade. Like, I always put three or four. Like, right now, I have a lip liner and then a light lipstick and then a different color lip gloss. But that's so gorgeous. Um, I've always told my children, don't say it or write it unless it's something you want the whole world to egg. Exactly. I, because I'm the type of person... Whatever somebody tells me, Lisa can vouch for me. I, 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 I don't say nothing. I don't say anything. What you tell me stays with me. I don't take screenshots and send it to companies or take screenshots and show. I don't do that. Now, what I have done when I got a very ignorant comment, if I was friends with somebody, I might screenshot that comment and say, do you see what this person wrote? I have done that. I'm not going to lie. But if somebody told me something, even if I we stop talking as friends, I'll never repeat it. I just don't play those games. And maybe it's an age thing. I don't know. I just, because I believe in karma, you know? All right, so we have that. Then we have another one. This will be in a giveaway because we've got, I think i got three of them already. This is the Hank and Henry eyeliner in Blickly Black. So I'm going to put that in a giveaway. And one of these highlighters I'm going to put in a giveaway because I bought one when he had pre-sale and where he signed it. It was the night light or the lightest shade and that was a little bit too light for me but i, I can kind of like use to another one to darken it up but i don't need all of these so let's see what we got and then i'll, I'll put one in a giveaway so because you guys know i got my thirty-five thousand subscriber giveaway coming up all right so this is in sun stealth i don't know if you guys can see it's a little blurry um i li love get ready with me would be nice and then we can ask you questions with makeup areas we need help with i can't wait yeah, that's so true okay so here is the packaging and these are brand new this is brand new oh yeah so this is a little dark so i'll probably put this in a giveaway um and if this is too dark for you and you win it if you have other ones, you can mix it up and make it lighter, you know. But the formula is really nice on this, so I do like it. Put that in wrong. Let me fix that. 
Uh, my box deluxe was destroyed again. Hole in the box and got, oh, you got, uh, well, that sucks. I hate when that happens. But I do like the BoxyCharm email to everybody, and to, I'll fix this later, and said that, you know, you'll, you'll get the stuff that you've asked for. I think that's nice. All right, so then we have this one here, and this is in the shade Glow Bandit. So let's see what color this is, because if this is too dark, um, I'll put this in a giveaway too. Oh no, okay. So this is what it looks like right there. And I'm going to swatch it. Do you see it has a little owl, owl in it? Because for night owls, I'm definitely a night owl. Look at that, I mean that is so nice. Now see, this would be a little too dark as well, but I will mix it with the other shade that I got. But look at that guys, that is, I mean the formula is great. That is so pretty. So it is a little dark, but like I said, I'll lighten it up. So this one here will go in a giveaway. I think these are like $30 a piece. So you figure, and I wish this box still existed because you only paid $37 by monthly. These are $30 a piece. So that's 60 right there. These are what, like 18 usually? This is what, 17 or $20? I mean, you really get your value in there. The brush, I, I don't know how much the brush is, but um, I love his products. I really, really do. All right, and we only have, oh my God, I'm dropping stuff. You should see this mess I made. And we only have one more thing to unbox, that's it. And then if there's any questions, I'll answer. If not, then we'll just say goodbye. This is from Mint Mongoose. I got this in the mail today, so I don't even know what's, this is the September Mint Mongoose. And then that's it, guys. I am like sweating, I'm not kidding. Maybe that's because I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay, so we got our little piece of candy that we always get, and I love these Werther things. These are so good. Do you know what I have really been liking? The Werther's with, um, like, they, they have, like, apple or something inside, you know, the chewy kind. Oh, my God, they're so good. Or, like, the soft caramel ones, so good. I got no customization, and they said only one pick on what? For Mint Mongoose? I do know this is $12 a month. Um, I do have a code where you can get it for $10. I don't make anything out of it. It's just for you guys to get it. Um, yeah, it's, it's the lights. It could be, but I also talk a lot. I get all excited. I'm one of those passionate people. Like when I talk, I get very like passionate. Um, oh, the boxy lux. Okay, all right. Caramel apple ones are, aren't they good? All right. So let's see. I do know with this, you can either pick, like, if you want silver, rose gold, or gold. And you guys know I like silver. Um, caramel, I know. Isn't it good? What is your favorite number? I love the number seven. Here, here's a true fact about me. Whenever I set my alarm, let's say I have to get up at 830. I'll set it for 827 or 837 or 847. I always end with a seven. Isn't that weird? How's your blood pressure? My blood pressure's a little high, but they just put me, they up my lecidopril, I think it's called. But yeah, you like 11? What are you guys' favorite numbers? But something about seven, I've always liked seven. When I was a kid, it was three. But now, it, but isn't that weird? Like I have to always end something on a seven? That's weird, right? Yeah, I used to like three when I was a kid. Okay. So you get three items. These are earrings. 747, 840, yes, I always have to put a 7, 11, so a lot of you guys are like 7 and 11, your birthday is 11, 11, you want to hear something funny, so me and my husband, we never had a wedding, we went to like the justice of the peace, right, I've known my husband since I was 14, I was in ninth grade, he was in 10th grade, he was actually in some of my brother's classes, right, and so, but we, we, we were always friends. We never dated or nothing like that until I was, we were, I was 36, he was 38. So I've known him for a long time. So we, we got together in February. We got married that December. I mean, he's known me when I used to be on, when I used to do drugs and get in trouble. Like he's, he, he knows everything about me, right? Okay. And so we called the courthouse to see when we get married. And I'm like, it, and this was in October. And I'm like, wouldn't it be nice if we can get married like 10, 11, 12, like the dates? Or like 11, 11, right? Uh, and so you want to hear something funny. So when we called, they were like, well, the only thing we have open is December 12th. 
And we got married. Our anniversary is 12-12-12. So we got married December 12th of 2012. Isn't that weird? Um, your son's birthday is 12-11-10. See, that's pretty cool too. All right, so these are the earrings. And they're like, I don't know. They have, they're like marble. Hold on, let me hold, let me hold them right here for you. These are what they look like. You guys can see. I thought they were plastic at first, but they're they're not. They're not plastic. All right, so you have that. So it would look like that. Um, your son turned seven, seven, seven. Oh, I would love that birthday. All right, so then we have. I don't know what this is. This. Your birthday is 110. Okay, so it's a lot of one. 555. Five, five. Oh, so that's pretty cool too. 1212 12, 12 breaks down to 333, three, three, which adds up to 9, which is the number of ultimate number of. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, so is that a good thing or a bad? Oh. All right, so this is the necklace. So it looks just like the earrings, which is actually pretty, is, is nice. And does this one do it? Let's see. Yeah, I like it when you see how, like, you can make it shorter or longer. Because I don't like real long necklaces. I like them to be, like, like right here. So that's pretty cool. But this one looks like it would be long anyway. And then you get, this is probably a bracelet. Everything always met. I got 666 and 69 in Social Security. Ooh. That is too funny. I don't like the 666, but the 69. That, oh, my God, that's so funny. Um, I do numerology. It's a good thing. It will be your forever relationships. Oh, isn't that nice? My my birthday is 4-6 of 76. So thank God I don't have like that extra six in there, right? Okay. So, oh, so we have two necklaces. All right. So this is like taped on here. That's weird. I've never got two necklaces before. All right. So it looks like that. So maybe you can, uh, I don't know, you can, I guess, I, I, I don't know. But we have two necklaces. So you have that, and then you have the earrings that match with this. So, and these are nickel free, so that means that they don't turn green. So 666 is a number that we're, me too, me too, girlfriend. Um, I guess they didn't make a mistake, you got the same thing. I really do love so yeah so that's what we got our mint mongoose and that is all of my unboxings we did we did allure macy's hank and henry the mystery bag from rochelle from 31 we did the mint mongoose and then we did the good good scribe what the hell is it called good vibes it's good vibes scribe <laughs> oh my god let me take a drink and this is water um, your birthday is 24 6 I can tell you that that what that means but not here all right well make sure that you email me so yeah my birthday is 4 6 76 your birthday is 9 10 4 20 is my second oh yeah we, we we know that Lisa do you know I was never I was never when, when I used to because I've been clean 15 years always made 15 years and I never liked the 420. Uh, you guys know what I mean. I don't want to get demonetized. I love the smell, but I, I, it never did anything for me. It used to make me like hyper instead of like calm. It was so weird. That was never my choice. Um, made me paranoid. I, it, it does things to weird people, right? But yeah, you know, you know how like a lot of people get calm and not me. <laughs> But, you know, that I, I don't care who does it. You know, that doesn't bother me. You know how some people are like, oh, you shouldn't do it. I mean, listen. I think it's better than drinking. I really do. When people get in the car and they drink and drive and all that kind of stuff. And I really believe it can help people in pain and stuff. You know, I, I don't know. I just don't see anything wrong with it. It's not my choice. But, you know. Um... I share my birthday with my grandfather's death anniversary. I was born on his 24th day. Oh, my God. I used to date somebody, and on his birthday, same thing, his, his father died on his birthday. Not the same year, but years down the road. So when he celebrates his birthday, he celebrates his dad's death. And you know what's weird? He, his dad was diabetic. He died from diabetes. 
um, it made you nauseous. Let's see, to each his own, right. You live at 420 Street. Oh, that's so funny. Lisa would love that. My daughter and son-in-law's 30th anniversary is 123.45. Wow. Um, I tried it once and made my heart rate. I know, right? It, like, I wonder what that means. Because, you know, sometimes it, like, it, it calms people down. But it, it made me, like, jittery. I, I don't know. But I never, like, smoked cigarettes or anything. Like, I was never, like, a smoker. Well, <laughs> another choice of drugs I did. But, like, you know, I just, maybe I, I don't know. I quit years ago, but I only see miss it. Yeah. You were, I was one year old on September 7th. Congratulations. That first year is the hard, well, actually, the first time you get, the first month is hard. And let me tell you something. I've been 15 years, and I still get thoughts. I still get the urges. Like, you, it never goes away. But I just think of the consequences. I think, well, if I do it, you know, because the devil's always in your head, right? Well, you can just do it, you know, when your husband's away and, you know, your kids are older. They are they don't know. That's the devil. But, like, I just think of my consequences. But a year is amazing. I'm so happy for you. Like, I can't believe I'm 15 years. And um, it's like, you know, once in a great while, like I said, I have dreams about it and different things, you know. But you just got to keep telling yourself, like, what are my consequences, you know. Because when you backslide, it's always worse, Right. It's like, I don't know. So I'm very happy for you. We have a dispensary here. The address is 420. Oh, my God, that's too funny. I'm only going to stay on here a few more minutes since we've been on here almost an hour and a half. And you guys know I usually do like half hours. But I, I wanted to unbox that stuff for you. And I am really sorry about my rant, guys. <laughs> I usually don't do that. I, I don't know what came over me. It just came out. So I, I'm really sorry about that. I should probably take this live stream down. <laughs> uh, and you started your channel, 222. Did I? February, was it 22nd? Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize that, Ivy. Is that a good thing? Is 222 good? Oh, you got to email me now. You got to make sure you email me. Another, oh, wait a minute now. I don't like that other six. Bye, y'all. Okay, thank you so much, Paul. I'm not going to stay on here too much longer, too. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you, guys, everybody, for um, joining me. I am 10 years, and thank God. That is amazing. It really is. Congratulations, all. Oh, thank you. It's the same as cigarettes and alcohol, yep. See, alcohol was my main issue. That was my drug of choice, alcohol. And beer, actually. Like, now, you got to remember, when I was younger, I was only like 110 pounds soaking wet. And I used to go, and I like Coors Light, and I know people say it's piss beer or whatever, but that's that was my choice of drug was alcohol. And I would go and get a 30-pack, and I would drink it by myself. I was only 110 pounds. I would drink, and I didn't know when to stop. I would just keep drinking until I passed out. And if I was all done, I like, nobody can stop me from going to, it's like I had an issue. And then when I got drunk or felt that, I wanted more of a high. So I never did like hard drugs, just do them. I always was drinking first. So alcohol is more where I really need to stay away from. You know what I mean? I haven't drank in, in years because one, uh, um, when I first met my husband, I had like a few drinks and I thought, oh, but if I have more than two or three beers, my mind, and I'm like, it's not worth it, you know? Um, those dreams are so, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Aww. All right. Does anybody have any questions before I get? Oh, how is Nala? Nala just turned three years old. Do you know when I, my first YouTube video was my boxy charm and she was five months old and she was under the table. I used to do my videos in my dining room and she was under my table and she used to like pulling socks off because I, we don't walk with shoes in the house, right? We have our socks on our bare feet or whatever. And, um, so, like, she was literally pulling my socks off as I was recording. And I was, like, kicking her. Not kicking her, but, like, pushing her away. So, I was trying to be. And I was so nervous. Like, I was, like, because I remember there were makeup geek eyeshadow. So, let's say this was an eyeshadow. This is how I talked. I was, like, and this is a makeup geek eyeshadow. Like, I was very monotone. And, like, do you know how hard it was with a, a, a puppy trying to, like, bite your feet? Um, but I can't believe she's three already. But, excuse me. She's doing amazing. 
Um, where is your email? It is should be in the description box. It's andun3 at gmail.com. But it should be like all the way on the towards the bottom. The rant was a message. I, I don't know what came over me, guys. I am so sorry. You guys know I don't usually do that. <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody needed to hear it. Maybe that's why. Maybe it was something that had to be said to one of you guys. I don't know. Um, you don't need to apologize. Aw, oh, you've been clean for three years? Good. See, that's amazing. All right, so let me know. Let me know. Does anybody have any questions before I get off of here? Because it's 125. I'm going to get ready to get off of here. You don't have any questions because I am sweating. Um, my boyfriend is four years sober. That's awesome. 30 bit. Yes, I did. I really did. And that, and, and I put my hand to God. I really did. I would just buy a, a six pack and I would just drink and drink and drink and drink. You know, when, when you're, you're so used to drinking, you get a mute, you know, you, you can, you know, can you do a future live? Get ready with me. Oh, like on a live stream. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like, uh, before you get off of here. They both, um, they both, the, Again. They match both necklaces. You need to wear both necklaces at once. Oh, okay. Alcohol and diabetes are... Yes. That, that, yeah, you're right. But if, boy, if I can go back and change things. Your husband's so funny. He is a mess. He really is. Um. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I do. How are you, girlfriend? I mean, not girlfriend. Boy, your boy. Corbin, how are you? Where the heck are your videos? I don't see your videos anymore. Um, do you do behind the scenes video and house tour, beauty room tour? Okay, okay. Do you have a P.O. box? Yes, it's always in my description box. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here because I have been talking to Storm. I'm, I'm going to take this makeup off because these lights are so hot. You know, I didn't realize how hot these friggin' lights can be. Alcohol was my drug of choice, too. I haven't had a drink in over a year. Do you know what? I do want to say this before I get off. The reason why I used to drink beer, beer, when I would drink beer, I was very, like, funny, ha, 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 I, I, you know, I was, like, the center of attention. Alcohol, liquor, I was very nasty, and I don't mean nasty, like, sexually, like, nasty, like, if I was at a bar, I would say, what the F are you looking at? Like, I would piss people off to where the next day I'd wake up all happy and my friends would stop talking to me, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, I was like that. I was like, uh... I just, me and alcohol did not mix. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. All natural. Okay. Let's. Good night. All right. All right, guys. I'm getting off of here. I love you guys so, so, so much more than you will ever know. I cannot explain how much you guys mean to me. And um, I love you guys. And thank you so much, everybody, who joining me. And I'm so sorry about my rant. But uh, I love you guys so much. And I'm getting off of here. All right, guys. Bye.